about that now. Storm surge is something you hear us mention over and over, but if you're new to Florida, you may not be familiar with how it works and, and why it is such a significant threat to property and even to lives. So here to give us some perspective is Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku, live from Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa. Uh, Tony, I'll, throw, I'll start by throwing a question to you. When we see these storm surge forecasts, and I believe it was five to 10 feet for the Tampa area there where you are, What's that based on? Is that is that history or is that a combination of history and uh, the strength of where we think the storm will be when it does reach the area? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of model data, uh, Chris. And really what we're talking about here is the strength of the storm, how close we anticipated to get to the coastline and how strong those winds are that are going to eventually perhaps push that water on shore. Right. When we talk about storm surge, right, and a lot of you uh, probably got that alert on your phone, that storm surge warning. It's an upgrade from a watch. Uh, it's important to know that a, a warning is more of the urgent threat. And, and what a storm surge warning basically means is that there's a danger for life-threatening inundation of rising water from the coastline. Right. So. Not necessarily coming as a surprise. We know our 120 miles of coastline here in the Bay Area are vulnerable, but I'll tell you the forecast track for Ian is not doing us any favors. We're talking about a decelerating, potentially major hurricane right off our coast, pushing that water on shore. And that's why hurricane evacuation orders have been issued. So let's talk a little bit more in detail as, as to what this looks like. In, in, in how storm surge works and why this is so dangerous. We start with a baseline kind of uh, normal sea level, right? So what does three feet of storm surge look like? Perhaps this is not a huge deal for you. Maybe your home is kind of away from the water on higher ground and, and you don't necessarily sweat it that much. But six feet is a lot of water, right? So now you can see what six feet looks like. And, and I'll tell you, there's nothing more frightening than seeing that much water piling around your home. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know how long it's going to last. What about 12 feet of storm surge? This is absolutely uh, unthinkable, right? This is more on the higher end of Ian's forecast. We hope this doesn't verify. Now you're talking about basically water two stories into your home. If that were to happen, you'll be glad that you, you, you took those evacuation orders very seriously. So uh, we want to go to now to uh, kind of what Mayor Jane Castor had to say, because she really underscored this surge threat in her press conference earlier today. This is going to be a storm like we have not seen in the past, unless there's something that changes drastically, even a if it tracks on the most westerly path, we're still going to have high winds and we're going to have storm surges. And Chris, you heard from Paul, you heard from Tyler, they're complex forecasting here as, as, as it relates to storm surge. Tens of miles can make the difference in terms of are we talking about the lower end of the forecast or the higher end, but we got to be prepared. Every mile counts. All right. Thank you, Tony.